All right, in this scene over here, we're going to talk about flow of CSF through the ventricles of the brain. Let's take a look inside this brain over here. But you know what? Let's remove the rest of the classroom in order to get a better view of what we want to see. And I'm going to go a step further by color coding these ventricles. In blue over here, we see the lateral ventricles. And there's actually one on each side. It's bilateral. Let's label it. Each lateral ventricle kind of looks like a claw, as if it's trying to grab something. And if we see in the middle, it's trying to grab this purple third ventricle. And beneath the third ventricle, we have the diamond-shaped fourth ventricle. So here we have it, the lateral ventricles in blue, the third ventricle in purple, and the fourth ventricle in orange. And we should be aware of the horns of the lateral ventricle. The frontal horn in the front, the occipital horn, which goes into the occipital lobe, and the temporal horn, which houses the hippocampus. And on top, we see the body of the lateral ventricle. Now it's important to note that in the frontal horn and in the occipital horn, there is no choroid plexus. Now, between the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle, there is a cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius, which is really narrow. Perhaps we can imagine a very skinny lady named Sylvia over here, who we can see right over here. Again, Sylvia reminds us of the cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. And another anatomical mark that we want to note is between the lateral ventricle and the third ventricle. And this is the foramen of Monroe. Perhaps we can imagine four men in a row. Four men in a row for foramen of Monroe. Okay, before we talk about the flow of CSF, cerebrospinal fluid, let's make one more mention over here. In the fourth ventricle, in orange over here, there are actually other foramina that we want to be aware of. Midline, we have the foramen of Magendi, or Magendi. M, midline, and M, Magendi. And we also have the bilateral foramina of Lushka, and these are lateral. This works out well. Lateral starts with an L, and Lushka starts with an L. Which is why I've put an L and an M over here, to remind us of Lushka, which goes laterally, and Magendi, which remains midline. So now let's talk about the flow of CSF. So the CSF empties from the lateral ventricles, through the paired foramina of Monroe, into the third ventricle, down the cerebral aqueduct, again, of Sylvius, and then into the fourth ventricle. From there, the CSF empties into the subarachnoid space, through the foramina of Magendi, in midline, and the bilateral foramina of Lushka, laterally and from there goes down the central canal of the spinal cord. And now we can come back to our classroom. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on the ventricles and the flow of CSF. Take care.